Morning, as uh, as promised, we're gonna we're gonna do a couple of YouTube videos for you guys. We're coming to the high tech uh, uh, studio that we've got here, and we've got the, the camera held up by a bin, <laughs> so it's going well so far. Uh, we're just gonna talk a little bit about ourselves, our backgrounds, uh, how we got into the fitness industry, industry and things like that. So without further ado, I'll pass over to Scott, who will start us off. Um, have we got a name for these, by the way? Uh, I think we should open it up for. For offers. Right, so yeah, first of all, if you can think of a name for these videos, um, just let us know. Um, nothing too offensive, um, nothing regarding bald heads or lisps, and I think that'll be alright. So, yeah, so I think I'll introduce myself first. Um, obviously, Scott Roberts, um, I specialise in fat loss and nutrition. Um, where shall I start? So, I think. Sort of me and Pete to a degree have got the same sort of story in that um, we've not done this all our lives. We've sort of had proper jobs before this. <coughs> and um, so, yeah, before this, I had a history in construction. Um, we had a family business that ended up in Spain. And I was shit at my job, basically. Um, had no interest in it. Um, so that lack of interest basically resulted in me being terrible um, and sort of towards the end of being in Spain um, business wasn't going too great I met my now wife Janie um, sort of the summer of I better get this right now I'll say 2012 it might have been 2013 but we sort of started dating that summer and towards the end of that summer, um, she moved to Manchester. Um, in that time, I was studying for my level three. <coughs> and I was doing a bit of PT in, in Spain. Um, was visiting Janie in Manchester. And it got to the point where I was basically threw everything in a suitcase. Well, my dad did, I think threw everything in a suitcase and shipped me off to Manchester. Um, landed in Liverpool. The rain was blowing sideways and I wondered what the fuck I'd done. But um, I basically ended up working in Pure Gym in Rochdale. Um, sort of when I was doing my studying and when I passed, I soon realised that my passion, if you like, or my interest was mainly fat loss related with general population. So, um, people working in offices, um, people that have tried every diet under the sun. And yeah, I quickly realized that everything revolved around nutrition. Um, so all my study involved around nutrition. <coughs> um, one of the first things I wanted to do when moving from Spain was, um, Know, do seminars and do things like that so I did a few seminars and then I joined a um, certification by Precision Nutrition which I think they're Canadian based and it's all online probably the biggest thing I took away from that was building a client's habits and lifestyle and things like that and even to this day it's probably um, the biggest thing I use with clients and it's the most important thing I've learned. Um, since then, well, currently I'm halfway through um, another nutrition course called uh, Mac Nutrition Uni, and <clears throat> that's just taken uh, not only my knowledge to the next level, um, but probably my confidence a bit as well. Um, it's what shall I say? It's um, it's proved, it's sort of proved what I know already, which has given me the confidence to go out and implement it. But it's also proved that a lot of the stuff I was learning at the start is um, not only confusing matters, but a lot of it's complete bullshit as well. So it's just allowed me to strip um, the information back what I give to people, and it's probably resulting in. in um, even better results with my clients as well. Um, 
sometimes I think I make things too simple. Um, it's probably not sexy enough for any, uh, a few people. <coughs> but yeah, that's about it really. What about you? Yeah, similar. Went like, on for a bit there. I like it. Uh, like like Scott said, I've not been in this this army life. I have been a, a sportsman since I was little. I've always always played sports since I was on the eleventh cricketer, football, rugby, basketball, everything. Uh, but I joined the armed forces at eighteen. I was a weapons engineer in the RAF. Basically, that means I've worked on missiles, bombs, ejection seats, things like that for fighter jets. Um, I did IED disposal for five years. I was an instructor teaching tri service for you know the Army, Navy, Air Force for Northern Ireland, UK, and sometimes Afghanistan. Loved it. Loved my time in the forces, but when I found out my fiance was pregnant, didn't want to be away anymore. Uh, it's a lot of time away, and I wanted to be at home for my son. So my son was born in two thousand and fourteen. We needed to make a make a change so I could see him. Um, so I changed my career. With my background in sport, it seemed only right. I've looked into engineering, looked into to all sorts of stuff, but there was nothing that I really, really wanted to do that I was passionate about. During my time in the force, I played rugby league, I coached rugby league, I took up mixed martial arts, the boxing, <coughs> Muay Thai, um, everything sport. And I'd always helped out with guys in the gym, I'd always written some programs. And always studied myself, I owned a lot of books and read a lot of articles before I ever got into PT. A lot of the stuff you see regurgitated now, I had 10, 10 years ago. Um, really had a passion for it and it seemed like the only thing to do. As I left, moved back to Manchester, um, got the job at Pure Gym A. Scott was one of the established guys in, come from a different gym. And to be honest, he was a guy I looked up to, seen he was a bit more further on his career than me. So it's nice to come in and someone else be there. Uh, from that point, when you see other people around you who are getting education all the time, you go on and get education. Um, I guess my speciality when I started was probably sports based, that was performance, getting people fit, just tying in with everything I'd done in my life. Um, I'd always trained for different things. I was up at 99 kilos when I was playing rugby. I fought mixed martial arts at 82. So I'd controlled different parts of my body, done some body composition stuff, but it was always related to sport. It was never a aesthetics sort of thing, never, never to just change the way I looked. When I got into that, I kind of came from a bit of a, a CrossFit background as well. I've done quite a lot of CrossFit. Got into the Jim Jones community. Um, did my level one seminar with Jim Jones, which was great. Teaches you a few things and how, as Scott said, a lot of the stuff you, you're taught is very simple. People make things far too fancy. And when I go into Jim Jones stuff, it's very much about hard work for your fitness and keep your nutrition nice and basic. <clears throat> the more basic you keep things, the more effective they are. There is no sort of crazy scenario that we're all finding out that's brand new and no one knew about. Everyone's just got to work hard and be you know, accountable for yourself. And I love that. From there, I took my, my training on, went on to, I do a thing called the Advanced Coaching Academy, teach you about nutrition, psychology, physiology, um, similar to, to Scott's gone on with the, the Mac Uni. It's nice to have that sort of um, accountability to something, something that we, we know we're getting the, the right information in and we're passing it on. We share a lot of the similar, similar interests with the guys we follow online because we're a pair of grumpy old men, really. Um, so we, we've been through it because we come from a different industry and things, we've, we've been through it all. We've been on the receiving end. We weren't 18 year old experts in this. We were, we were the kids buying Men's Health magazine and being ripped off week by week with brand new fad books <coughs> and things like that. So I think we've ended up at a similar point and that's why we've kind of joined forces when we've got here to, to talk through a few things we've held seminars before. And I think what we teach is pretty similar. Um, yeah, so I think when Pete mentioned the um, accountability of, say, his, what is it, the Advanced Coaching Academy, yeah. so the ACA, um, things like uh, the Mac Nutrition, <coughs> I know I wouldn't do a lot of this learning if, one, I'd not forked out a load of money for it, and two, well, obviously there's someone there pushing you, also, there's a there's a group environment. There's a private group that I'm in. Um, Pete's in a private group as well, and there's just that support system. And it's it, it's something we trying to push onto you watching this or our clients. 
the, this gym has, I think it's about five and a half thousand members. And if you went round and asking these people what you need to do to get into shape, whatever it is, lose weight, get bigger, they'd, they'd probably tell, tell you roughly what you need to do. But very few of them are actually doing it. And I suppose that's where, that, that's the only reason we're earning any money is because people need that accountability to get results. People actually need to be spending some money on it to make sure they do what needs to be done. And just the support of having me or Pete at the end of a phone to say, well, I'm struggling today, um, or this doesn't make sense. And then just having one of us there to say, look, you just need to do this, stop, stop complicating it, or sometimes it needs to kick up the arse. So, you know, I know we're personal trainers and you can throw at us like, oh, you're meant to be strong or you're meant to be in shape. But what we're sort of doing business-wise sort of relates to what you may be trying to do um, from a fitness or physique point of view. And it's just having that guidance there more than anything and just someone there pushing you more than anything. Yeah, I know, like, as Scott said, when, I, when we got into it, you think that as you get into personal training, you get further <coughs> into the science of things, that you're going to be giving all these crazy equations to people and we're going to figure out this many calories and you have this much fibre and stuff like that. Nine tenths of what I do is just give people basic advice. Last night, I had someone text me late at night, stuck for something to eat, got these options, what's one which one's the best one? It's things like that. It's not always, you're not coming to a PT all the time and we're gonna baffle you with science and things like that. We we take the science on board to try and to try and simplify things as much as possible. And as Scott referred to at the start, it's not always the, the sexy side of stuff that, that we, we get into. We're both very much fact-based if we can give you the truth, we'll give you the truth straight away. Um, if you just need help with a little bit of decision making, that's what we're there for. I and mean, there's a little bit of a, sometimes a shoulder, sometimes an ear, sometimes just to give you a little, little tiny bit of advice, nothing major. Um, and that can help massively. Yeah, like, um, I don't, well, I don't think either of us really know where we're going to take these videos in the future, but um obviously they're here to educate you so if you have any questions you know get in touch with us and we'll we'll put a video together based on the questions you ask um you know hopefully we come across as knowledgeable um we don't know everything but we're putting the things in place to learn as much as possible we're honest um i think if anyone knows us or works with us or just follows us on social media you know you're not going to get much bullshit out of us and then on top of that I suppose our passion um, you know we, we, like we said we've not been doing this since we were 16 years old we've been in jobs well, I think Pete enjoyed his job more than me but you know, I was, like I said I was in a job I had zero interest in um, with this now I'm, I'm set up at nine o'clock at at night at times on social media helping people um, trying to learn stuff that I don't know I wasn't doing a minute of that in construction I wasn't on Google looking at the best glue to stick two pipes together or stuff like that so you know you'll, you'll get honesty out of us you'll get some passion out of us hopefully you'll learn something and then yeah if there are more specific things we can help you with We'll, we'll try our best to answer them as well. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much secondary layer. If, if you ask us questions and we don't know, we're not going to bullshit you. I'll, I'm more than happy. Like I say, we, we're both in private groups on Facebook with some guys who are much more experienced. <coughs> um, you know, whenever you get into any job, there's always guys who've been doing it for 10, 15, 20 years. We've got contacts like that. So if you can get in touch with us and we can't tell you the answer straight away, we will get back to you. I'm not going to they lie to people and I know Scott doesn't lie to people about it it's important that the right information gets out there otherwise you're going to keep going through the same battles over and over again we'll only tell you the truth and uh, I hope you all find these, these videos useful yeah um, well I think just before we finish up there's we're probably at a time now where there's more information out there than ever before yet if we take my side of things, the fat loss, I think obesity is at its worse. Um, speaking to people on a daily basis, 
the information out there's that much information out there it's just confusing everyone um, it doesn't help when people have an agenda and they're giving the wrong information out based on their bias or what they're selling what they're making money off so if we can bring a bit of honesty to it then it's better for the industry it's better for you hopefully it's better for our bank balance as well but we'll see what comes of that as well <laughs> Right, so I think that, that wraps up for the first one. Don't forget any names for these little chats that you want to put on so we can yeah. uh, give them a title, send them to us, uh, names on a postcard. And yeah, any questions, get in touch and we'll try and hit some more Q&As over the next few weeks. Speak to you all soon. Bye.